Stevenage's first win at Broadhall Way in a month ensured that they keep their playoff hopes alive. They're in fourth. Fresh from the draw last week against league leaders Accrington Stanley, Graham Wesley's men were up for this one and they dominated against Gravesend and Northfleet. Liam Daish admitted that his side lacked quality finishing in the final third. In the opening minute, Stevenage had a great chance in front of goal. This effort from George Boyd, not far off the target. It was obviously the shape of things to come. Stevenage looked lively and they were carving out opportunities, this one on nine minutes. Adam Miller, though, seemingly slipping at the crucial moment, his effort well over the top. To be fair to the visitors, they were missing their top scorer, Charlie McDonnell, because of a knee injury. And also Jimmy Jackson, who's been on target of late. In came Bobby Bowery and Brad Johnson. Slatter had this effort on 28 minutes, but it confirmed the manager's opinion that there was very little up front in this game for them. Just a couple of minutes later and Slatter was in the thick of it again. This time a foul by George Boyd on him. Things threatened to boil over as we had four bookings inside five minutes. It was Route 1 football for the opening goal on 35 minutes. A free kick inside their own half, hoofed forward. Finally, John Nurse managing to get on the end of a Darrell stamp pass. Stevenage 1, Gravesend 0. Stevenage dominated the chances in this first half, and when they did carve out opportunities, the visitors just couldn't convert. James Smith with a decent cross into the box, Bradley Johnson rising well, he should have hit the target. In stoppage time at the end of the first half, Stevenage doubled their lead. It wasn't the prettiest of football, but they all count. John Nurse feeding the final ball through to Darrell Stamp, and after an almighty scramble in the six-yard box, it somehow went in. Stevenage 2, Gravesend 0 at half-time. Into the second half and the visitors showed a bit more ambition coming forward. We had to wait until nearly the hour mark for this chance on goal. It was one from distance by Mark Rule. Julian was never troubled. Eric Abina was a second half substitute and he had a couple of good chances. This one just past the hour mark. Fed through by Ronnie Henry. His connection was poor. The ball was out of the ground. And his second effort on 77 minutes really should have been in the back of the net and further extend Stevenage's lead. After doing all the hard work and breaking into the box with the ball, he conspired to hit his shot wide of the keeper. With the two goal advantage and just 10 minutes to go, this game probably was safe enough for Stevenage. They'd had very little defending to do against a weak Gravesend side. However, they tended to press the panic button in the final third, this shot from distance by Adam Miller. And into stoppage time at the end of this game, even the tremendous pace of George Boyd couldn't give him a third goal. Gravesend will be disappointed at their performance. It was Stevenage all the way in this one. The final score at Broadhall Way, Stevenage Borough 2, Gravesend and Northfleet 0.